Hi guys, my name is Steven, and today we're going to talk about how to use a browser as a widget in Kivi. Uh, with this browser, we can do things like stream some webcam footage. We can also include a, uh, a web-based RViz so that we can use RViz as a widget. So the first thing we need to talk about is where to get this uh, Kivi module from. So I'm at the Kivi Garden GitHub page. Basically, this is just a set of modules that people have created that work with uh, Kivi. Um, so you can go through here and just see what your options are, but we're going to go ahead and type in CEF browser, or actually CEF Python. And there's a garden.cef Python. And this has the CEF widget that I need. Uh, and this will allow me to import a CEF browser. Uh, so instead of going through the download uh, procedure, I'm going to link a video in the description by Eric Steinberg, and he does a really good job of showing you how to import these uh, garden widgets. So let's go ahead and jump over to the Python code. Um, and this is the uh, just the basic template that I've kind of shown in my previous videos, and I have a uh, ross dot or ross underscore GUI KV file that doesn't have anything in it. So we're starting from scratch. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is import this module. It's called uh, kivi underscore garden dot cef python. And then I need to import the cef browser. All right. So I've got a ROS core running, and I'm going to go ahead and launch this node. It's a node in the package called tutorial, and the node is simple GUI.py. I see my window gets created, so that means everything's okay so far. Now we are ready to create the widget, and that's going to be within our KV file. So I'm going to start with a float layout. And then I'm going to create my child widget, CEF browser. This widget has a property called URL, and here I can put any URL. We're going to just put google.com, and then I need to give it a size, and we'll say 0 0.8, and then a position. Center X. We'll put it in the middle. All right, so we should be ready to run this. All right, so I've got a widget here, and it has a Google browser running in it. Um, so that's obviously really helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and make that a little smaller. And I'm going to shift it to the left. And we'll just throw two of these in here. So now there's two children to this float layout. And they're both browsers. Uh, and we'll do one more thing. We'll add a label. And this is just to give a little more character to this page. Uh, we'll call it browsers. It needs a size and position. Um, and we're going to put it a little above center. All right, let's see what we got. Got an error. what it said. Let's get rid of that second browser real quick. Alright, so I've got the one browser and I've got my label, which my label isn't quite high enough. Um, I'm going to make it a little smaller. 
going to raise it up to 0 0.9 so it's pretty high on the screen here. Now let's try this one more time. Alright, so I've got two browsers. Sometimes maximize doesn't work very well. Dog and fish. So I got two separate browsers here. Uh, I've got a label, you could add buttons. So what I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do is add some webcam stream to this. Uh, so I'm just gonna use the webcam on my computer. So I'm gonna use the USB cam package. Uh, this is basically just a package that lets you connect to a video device. It could be a USB webcam or it could be your built-in webcam. And that will publish a topic called, uh, it'll have your camera name and then this image. Um, and so the next package I'll need is this web video server. Um, and this basically will take in this, let's see if I can find it. Well, basically it'll subscribe to my camera image data and will um, basically create a server and put this image data onto a web address. So I've already created a launch file to do this, so let's take a quick look. Um, so the first thing I have is I have a node that's the USB cam node with my video device. It happens to be video zero since it's my built-in camera. If you want to look at this as, uh, if you just have, want to have a normal window and look at this uh, video stream, you can use this, basically this image node here, image view. The other node we're using here is this web video server. Uh, this is the one I just showed you. This is what will let me view this in a web browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch this node, or launch these nodes. All right, so this started the server. I'm gonna go back to the web page. So basically it says here that I can view the uh, compressed stream if I use this URL link. So we'll just go ahead and try this in a browser. All right, so I see my webcam is getting streamed into this browser window. So all we need to do is I've already got this link copy and pasted. Uh, I'll go back to my KV file and in this second browser I can paste this. And then when I run this node, my GUI node, I see I have my GUI browser or <laughs> Google browser and then I have my webcam footage. Uh, so I think that's all I'm going to cover today in this video. Um, this is obviously very powerful and there's so much flexibility now that we can use browsers as widgets. Uh, my next video will be about trying to include RViz into one of these widgets, uh, which is obviously really helpful. So uh, thank you guys for watching and remember to subscribe.